The of the convicted killer who called himself the zombie hunter is in the hands of a judge. Closing arguments wrapped up today. The judge will now decide whether Brian Patrick Miller will get the death penalty for killing a teenage girl and a young woman right along the canal back in the 1990s. Morgan Lowe has been following this case for us uh, here tonight with how the final day unfolded. Today we heard from the prosecutor first and then the defense. Their final pitches to the judge for life in prison for Brian Patrick Miller or the death penalty. Miller was convicted of two brutal murders that took place 30 years ago. Angela Brasso and Melanie Burness were killed while riding their bikes on the Arizona Canal. This morning, the prosecutor argued that the murders were brutal, that Miller showed the victims no mercy and that he deserves to be executed. There has been no admission of responsibility or expression of remorse that would constitute a mitigating circumstance. Now, Miller's defense attorney had the last word. He argued that despite what Miller did, his life still has value. That part of why Miller did what he did was because he was abused as a child and he is autistic. Here's how he ended his appeal to the judge. His life still has value beyond measure. We ask that you impose a verdict of life in prison. I thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Carter. This trial lasted eight months. There was no jury, just a judge. And that judge, Suzanne Cohen, says she hopes to announce the sentence on June 7th. And today we heard or we learned that members of at least one of the victim's family intends to be here for that sentencing. These family members have been monitoring their trial through a secure Internet link. They haven't actually been in the courtroom. Right. I imagine the judge has been pretty tight lipped. Has she given any kind of indication one way or another as to which way she might be leaning? No indication at all. I mean, if she looks at these mitigating circumstances, Miller's mental health, the fact that he was abused as a child, Maybe that means that she's going to say life in prison. If she looks at the crimes themselves, what Miller did to the victims, this is a classic death penalty case. And your expectation for her decision is a couple weeks? Yeah, two weeks from okay. today. All right. Morgan, thank you.